Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I am welcome you in Insightly Review. In this video I am going to look on the pricing plans, I am going to talk to you about some advantages and disadvantages about Insightly that I personally see. Then I am going to show you the walkthrough of the whole tool, how we can work with contacts, organizations, everything here on how we can use it. Then I am going to also show you a really simple way, like the top features that I like about Insightly and then also the alternatives that you can use to Insightly. So thank you very much for watching this video and let's jump straight to the tool. So here we are in Insightly and the first thing that I'm going to show you are pricing plans. When you come here to the pricing plans, you're going to see three pricing plans. You're going to see the plus professional or enterprise. Now when you're going to scroll down below, you're going to see that, okay, in a plus, I can find and manage leads. It's limited to what I can do here. Then you see build stronger customer relationship. You got the only enterprise sell more productively. And then you see the lot of stuff that you got already in professional. Now what I really like about Insightly is that how simple it is. For a small team Insightly CRM can be really great. If you're like let's say up to 5 to 10 people. But if you're gonna have like bigger business, uh, it can get really overwhelming. So for small businesses, uh, I would recommend like using HubSpot. That's much better option. Or I would even go for um, like let's say a different one, let's say PipeDrive. But Insightly for small like teams, small businesses, really good. So you see that per user it's forty nine dollars. It's on a more expensive side, not that expensive comparing to like let's say HubSpot but there are also alternatives that are much cheaper. So if you're looking for the price, maybe Insightly is not going to be for you. But again, it's up to you what you need, like find and manage leads. Then you see the build strong relationships. And you see like I this guess means that you're not, not going to have it there. But again, if you don't need this, you can choose the plus version. And you're good to go. Now when you go further on the inside thing, how you can use it. So here you can have the home, the simple contact, where I'm going to have simple contact that I can import them or create a new contact. Then I'm going to have organization here. And in organization, it's like with the contacts, then what I can do is simply add a task. So when I would go to the top right, I can click new task here and add a task name. So let's say it's going to be a call uh, assigned to me category. Let's say it's going to be phone call. And they can I can like start date. And related to I can add simple a new opportunity or project and I'm going to show you how we can do that too. And you would got it right. Now what I would do then is let's say I'm going to have click leads here. And I can click see this and go again to top right new lead. And a new lead you would simply add a new lead. So first name, last name, title, organization, email address, phone, mobile phone, website, everything what you need here, right? Then you're going to find the opportunities, which I really like how the design of it and I can click again top right new opportunity. And let's say opportunity name is going to be YouTube business category, probably of winning, let's say 25%. And I can simply add an opportunity value. Right? So it's going to be bid amount 50,000. Category, I don't have category. And then I can click save. See, and then you got it. And you always want to and what you can do is simply I'll manage it. See right here. The pipeline. The organization. The opportunity name. And you can always change the pipeline here. So I can have it's on the qualification now. Change stage. 
and you can of course like change the pipeline stage that's also really great so i can go here and you can choose which pipeline you want to change i created like whole tutorial on site and how we can use it so i can change stage and you can in settings change the names of it and also probabilities of every single stage then you're gonna projects in projects here you can simply again see the project i can go to the right new project project name can be youtube business channel status it's not started yet or in progress or cancelled category i can have pipeline here and stage is going to be design now you can create your own pipelines i'm going to show you how you can do that then i click save and voila here i got my own youtube business channel my own thing here my own project and on project you can have activities you can have everything you can go to write actions and i can clone the project i can new task new event uh, new activity and everything you see here the opportunities right and i can then create for the opportunity the opportunity for this project now when i go further i'm going to have emails where you can find like add new emails then you're going to find the dashboards here opportunities dashboard project dashboard list dashboard and reports where you can do the simple reporting so as you can see like using inside is nothing that difficult uh, it's pretty like awesome program that you can use now when i go to the top right i can go to also system settings and here i can go and have leads here and like edit that pipelines and here i can like edit the opportunity pipelines i would click here and i can simply edit the stages and here you see the the pipeline stage name and then probability and everything of these you can simply change so this is pretty much it i hope i gave you a little bit of value um, what do i think about insightly and how we can use it so alternatives are pipeline zoho crm copper lie on desk even monday.com you can use as a, a crm or clickup but this really depends what do you need what are your like goals and desires so yeah thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye see ya